fiend must be brought to justice. Yeah, they had red tinted goggles on. Uh, certain members of the uh, the brass blades. Oh, good music. Hello, Leonhart. What's wrong, dear? Or is this the real Leonhart? Ugh. I've got a whole thing of waters I gotta open. You can run, but you cannot. Ha ha ha! If you thought you could outsprint this Mandeville man, you were sorely mistaken. For pilfering a priceless blade, threatening a maiden's true virtue, and untold crimes against the law-abiding citizens of Eorzea, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, hereby place you under arrest. Done in by a snipper. A fitting end for an ignoble thief. Let us see what lies behind the mask. This is the real Lewinhart. No. Is it the real Lewinhart? That's my guess. Uh, where, where am I? Who are you? turning into Scooby-Doo. Ha! Playing the fool will avail you not. I suggest you come willingly. A gentleman is not given to violence, but should you attempt to resist, I disavow responsibility for any shattered skulls and broken bones. Yeah, this is the real Lewinhart. W wait, I remember now. I was on my way to meet with Miss Arabella when... Miss Arabella, I must find her at once. Ah, oh, my head. Hmm. It would seem that this man wears no mask. This is the true Lewinhart. I swear on my life that is so. I was en route to the estate in Wineport when one of the brass blades on patrol approached me. We exchanged greetings, and in the next instance, he turned on me. I fought desperately to defend myself, even managed to drive a kitchen knife into the man's right hand. In the end, though, he proved too strong for me. Now that you mention it, the imposter was wearing gloves. I knew there was something suspicious about him. There is still time before the banquet begins. Knowing our quarry, he has doubtless already assumed a new identity, and yet he could not have foreseen this turn of events. It is unlikely that he has had time to thoroughly research his new target. Most importantly, we now know that the thief suffered a wound to his right hand. We need simply return to Costa del Sol and examine the hands of all present. An excellent plan, Inspector. While you do so, we shall accompany Lewinhart back to the estate that we might ensure Miss Arabella's safety. Uh-oh. I found you, my little ones. Let me guess. You seethe with anger at those that took from, from you what was yours. Oh, this guy. Aw, they're cute. 
Then it would appear our goals are in accord. Make for Costa del Sol and await my orders. When the time is right, revenge will be yours. The game is afoot, inspectors. Now, what mask shall I wear to the ball? I really do think this is the origin of Mr. Face. I don't know if that's true. But that's what I'm thinking. Oh, pardon me. Uh... Have fun with that. Wait a minute. Wait a tick. Oh, pardon me again. FC's talking about uh, unlocks. Uh, to Wineport we go. Arabella. Ow. Legs asleep. Miss Arabella, what are you doing here? You must return to the estate at once. Oh, Lewin, always the warrior. Your concern is touching, but I am a woman grown. Besides, I just wanted to see the flowers. Lovely those these flowers may be. Lovely though these flowers may be, they are an, as they are as unsightly weeds when measured against your beauty. I am Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Please call me Hildy. The pleasure is mine, my lord. Much have I heard of your deeds. Tell me, are these rumors of a many-faced thief true? I fear they are, Miss Arabella. But still, your gentle heart, for as long as Hildebrand is on the case, the fiend shall not lay a twisted finger upon you. This I swear on the Mandeville name. The gods smile on me indeed to send such a strong and handsome gentleman as my champion. And yet... You seem pensive, my lady. Is something the matter? To tell the truth, this marriage has been arranged against my wishes. I do not love Vance. Why? I have not even met him. Uh oh, I got to texties. Why is my phone exploding? That's my phone exploding. Oh my goodness. Why, I have not even met him. He sent me this clasp as a betrothal grif gift. A treasure for my treasure, wear it always, the message said. I do not care how beautiful it is. Might as well be a golden shackle. M Miss Arabella, you must not say such things. An arranged marriage to a youth you have not met. Unconscionable. Father says that this marriage must happen, and it is for the future of the family trade. Spoken like a true Uldun. But if I may be bold, my lady, would I be correct in assuming that you and your father are not related by blood? Quite so. Father found me amongst the beggars on Pearl Lane when I was just a babe. He took me in and raised me as his own. He took Lewin in as well, though as a servant rather than a son. 
You may think my father a cold and miserly man, but to me he is the man who gave me warmth and hope where I had none. I will learn to love Vance, if that will make father happy. You cannot be serious, Miss Arabella. You are a beautiful young woman with your whole life ahead of you. Surely you would want to have to look, you would not have to look far to find a gentleman with whom you would rather spend the rest of your days. If I have to spend another hour with you, I'm like to lose my wits. But anyway, we should return to Costa del Sol and see how the inspector's investigation fares. I as well must prepare for the banquet. Farewell, friends. All right. Talk to Hildy. A case of indecent here. We've not a moment to lose, friend. The time of our final confrontation with the fiend is nigh. Our foe has doubtless assumed a new identity, but have no fear upon our return to Costa del Sol. I s shall employ the time-tested Mandeville art of parlay to cut through the fiend's flimsy facade. It is an art that I would impart to you as well, friend. Though there will be time enough for that once our foe is in shackles and Miss Arabella safe. No doubt it shall prove as invaluable in your adventures as it has in my investigations. Or, failing that, to entertain you when you have nothing better to do. But I digress. A gentleman must away to Costa del Sol. The fair maiden's life hangs in the balance. Nashu, Miss Ellie with me! Alright, see you, dude. I have no idea what he was trying to do. Whee! The FC is just full of people giving each other advice today, and it's very wholesome. Uh, excuse me. It's raining. And in fact, it's raining so hard, the only thing I can see is the etherite. Which, you know, is probably not great. Dive, dive, dive. Hi, Brutian. Inspector Brutian, I have seen to the maiden's safety. Miss Arabella will be along soon. How fares your investigation? I have canvassed the grounds, but none of the guests are concealing their hands. How can this be? The thief must be somewhere. Miss Arabella just left her estate, I hear. I suppose we'll find out soon enough if her beauty is truly a match for my own. <laughs> There's no time. Without the thief in custody, we cannot risk allowing Miss Arabella to take the stage. But, but Inspector, Vance and his family will not take kindly to his betrothed's absence. <laughs> that is nothing of my concern. Besides, doubtless the Inspector here will think of something. Me? What do you propose? You're the expert at creating diversions. Can't you just knock something over, blow something up, or the like? You know, like you always do. Inspector Breardian, I knew the day would come that you recognize my many talents. Worry not about Master Vans. Yes, for the sake of the maiden, a gentleman will do what must be done. The poor sop lacks even the wits to know when he's being insulted. Now to the task at hand. We must find a way to conceal Miss Arabella's true identity. Not far from here are the servants' quarters. There should be a change of clothes lying around. Perfect. Umbra, find some suitably ordinary garb and deliver it to Miss Arabella outside the gates. I shall proceed with the investigation. Ah. My throat's already so dry. What's happening to me? Somebody help! <laughs> oh, she's wearing a Manderville outfit. Has the Lapis Maiden arrived yet? I simply must look upon her beauty myself. 
Servant's guard, you must say. I must... I much prefer what you're wearing, but we certainly have enough racks to go around. Here you go. Do with them as you will. Okay. Now I must needs go these away. I'm right click moving by the way, which is why it's so it's it's a little smoother. The camera movement. Greetings, friend. Oh, what's this you have for me? Put this on. Ow. Servants guard. Gob, but why? <laughs> Miss Arabella. With the thief still at large, the risk of letting you be seen is too great. Change into these clothes and promise that you will not leave my sight. But the ceremony, Father will be furious in Lord Vans. We are dealing with a man who tried to blast me to the heavens and almost succeeded. We cannot exercise enough caution. As for the ceremony, I have entrusted the matter to a certain gentleman. You need only concern yourself with your own safety. We should do as the inspector says, Miss Arabella. Your life is more important than this marriage, or whatever profits your father stands to gain from it. Lewin, your father heard you saying such things. I should not have I should have said them long ago, but not doing so I have put your life in danger. But besides, we have not one but two skilled inspectors on the case. It will not be long until the fiend is brought to justice. Very well. I shall retreat to the carriage. Pray wait for me there. Okay. My apologies for the delay. What should I do with my banquet dress, Inspector? Umbra, bring Miss Arabella bring Miss Arabella's dress to that bumbling inspector. I dare not speculate as to how he intends to see to his task, but I would imagine he requires all the help he can get. Now let us return to before the festivities begin. Thank you. Hildebrand's going to wear this. I can feel it in my bones. Alright. Okay, before I continue, I need to run to the restroom really quick. So, everyone, I will be right back. Uh, while we wait, we'll uh, put on the idling camera.
Thank you for being patient. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Is there anybody even in here? I don't think so, but I also don't really care because I'm just having a good time. Ugh. All right, back in it. Ah, you return? Me? I was in the act of formulating a master plan to distract Master Venz at the ceremony. Is there aught I might do for you? Here you go. Why, this is... Miss Arabella's dress? I must admit to some confusion as to what to do with it, but worry not. I shall take it into safekeeping. And with that, I must attend to Master Vance before the ceremony begins. Worry not, friend. I assure you that Inspector Briardian and I have the situation entirely under control. Why not find yourself a seat and enjoy the festivities? Okay. Here we go. Curses. How am I supposed to find my men with all these people milling about? Friends, family, business associates, tis an honor and a pleasure to welcome one and all to Costa del Sol for today's feast, co-hosted by the Bruguer Consortium in the East Aldenard Trading Company. We trust that you've been enjoying fine food, fine spirits, and profitable conversation. <clears throat> the Lapis Maiden, if even half the tales of her beauty are true, Veins is the luckiest bastard in the realm. Yalta Nalto, Sayana, honored guests, it is a pleasure to announce the betrothal of my son, Vans, future chair of the Brugaird Consortium, to Arabella, daughter of Master Guguremu of the East Aldernard Trading Company. The couple would exchange their eternal vows here today, and the happiness that is theirs may usher in a new era of prosperity for one and all. Dude's an arrogant little prick. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present my son's lovely bride, the Lapis Maiden, whose beauty minstrels will song, uh, will sing for ages to come. Damn you, Hildebrand Mandeville! You had one job. She, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. With a rabble expecting otherwise, she is my bride, after all. Hi, Hildebrand. Yep. Milady, they say your beauty transcends even the boundaries of time. When we are wed, you will want for nothing. Pray give your hand unto me. Yeah. My sun and stars, yes, yes, a thousand times, yes. I am yours, it shall be forevermore. What have you done with my bride? You crossed every dressing deviant. Ugh. Not quite what I had intended, but I suppose it serves our purposes. <laughs> Fucking sound effect. Fear not, ladies and gentlemen, for Miss Arabella is safe and sound. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, have but assumed the maiden's appearance to ensnare the vile fiend who would take aim at her life. The fucking pigtails. Jesus. The fiend who now lies defenselessly before me, the game is up, Vans. Or shall I call you by another name? The thief of many faces.
But me? The thief? Are you mad? It appears that my masterful deductions have proved beyond the grasp of your mind. Very well. Allow me to elucidate. Ugh, I gotta scooch in. While there is not a soul in the realm who has not heard tales of Miss Arabella's beauty, there are but two men here in Costa del Sol who had gazed upon her lovely visage before today. Her father, Guguremu, and her steward, Lewenhart. As you yourself admitted on multiple occasions, Master Vans, you were, you were to have your first glimpse of your bride-to-be today. Considered in this light, would you not say your reaction upon seeing my face was most unnatural? Excuse me. Who else could see through my ingenious disguise? Who could know at a glance that I was not the fair maiden, none save you, ye of a thousand faces? <laughs> and anyone else with half their wits about them? There he goes. How dare you make a mockery of my wedding day! Gods, arrest that pervert at once! Lock him up in jail and throw away the key! Oh, there he goes. Arabella! Oh, thank the gods you're safe! Come with me quickly! There's a dangerous madman about! I already forgot his voice. A glove on his right hand. Could it be? Hey, Ted! And hey, Lunar! What's up, y'all? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, it's not Mr. Face. I wanted it to be Mr. Face. Ah uh ha -huh, ha, the man is a fool. But it would have behooved you to listen to him. Alas, you did not, and what is yours is now mine. The that's the thief! Stop wasting your time with that imbecile and arrest him! The little veggie people, they're so cute! Oh my god. You came all this way for me! You love me, you really, really love me! To Jesus. <laughs> Jeez. The attention is most flattering, but I have taken what I came for. And now I must away, my lords, my ladies. Till we meet again. Well, there you go. At least she's having fun, I guess. I hear that the real Vans was found bound and gagged in a storage room. Truly, Miss Arabella, I am so sorry. For what, milady? The banquet was more exciting than I ever could have hoped for. Vans and his father were furious, of course, and our marriage has been called off. But perhaps it is for the best. I would find my own way to make father happy, but by living my life as I would live it. It is you, Inspector Hildebrand, who taught me this lesson. F 
For the love of the gods, somebody find I'm a change of clothes. But one thing still puzzles me. The thief's challenge said he would steal the lapis maiden's virtue. Yet in the end, he only took he took only her neck piece. Now that you mention it, Master Guguremu told me that th about that clasp when it first arrived. Engraved with the engraved with the mark of the sun goddess, it is one of the most treasured pieces from the Bruguer collection, known by many as Azayama's virtue. The maiden's virtue, indeed. When the next challenge comes, we must take extra care to read between the lines. Poor onion boy. Over here, Inspector. It says, uh, made you look. <coughs> really? Oh. There it is. The fiend plays us for fools. Give that to me at once. When next we meet, I shall come to claim the victor's spoils. Hmm, another riddle. If nothing else, it appears the thief has abandoned any foolish notions of my assassination. Still, we must ever be on guard. The fiend attempted murder once. He may very well do so again. Verily, Inspector, I must agree. One can never be too wary when dealing with a murderer. Hear me, man of a thousand faces. You sealed your fate when you called me out by name. Mark my words, when next we meet, you will be mine. Ba -na -na -na. Yes, it was the phantom thief who was to blame for the bomb. Truly, verily, indubitably, the Phantom Thief. Most certainly. Ha ha ha. How are you, Ted? Okay. So it is Mr. Face. The only problem is he doesn't have the, like, white face mask yet. Ah. Complete. Da, 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 Parlay minigame is now available. Trailer for the next an episode of Manderville. The victor goes a priceless treasure. While the smile of a champion holds secrets untold, are eight legs better than two? Can a Manderville man triumph over terrors and win the day? The Coliseum Conundrum. Same. Today has been crazy busy, and I wanted to play more Final Fantasy, so I decided to. The key to the next case is also the key to the storeroom. Be sure not to lose it. Wait. It's a real key and a figurative one. At the same time? Is that even possible? I guess we'll find out next time. Good lord. Good lord.
So we're gonna accept this. I don't know if we're gonna do it yet. Um, Umbra, I was told when you, I was wondering when you'd show up. I've got the latest scoop on the Victor's spoils that our many-faced friend has set his sights on. Have you visited the Colosseum of late? There's attorneys in the work, and it looks it's looking to be a big one. The Mithril Cup, sponsored by none other than Amal, uh, Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern. They say that Master Firgis will be furnishing the prizes himself from his personal collection. Small wonder it's captured the attention of Mr. Sticky Fingers. You are familiar with the concern, yes? It's only the largest mining interest industry in the Sultanate, after all. The chairman, Master Firgis, sits on the syndicate and possesses such wealth that rumor has it he can buy has it he could buy half the realm if he chose to. He's also renowned for being something of a martial arts enthusiast. With his position affording him little opportunity to test his own skills, he settles for living vicariously through the exploits of others, hence his sponsorship of the tournaments like the Mithril Cup. My colleague Ganelion, Ganelon, <laughs> wow, is in Ulda covering the tourney as we speak. If we were to track him down, I'd bet he'd give us something of our to get our investigation started. Okay. So I have that. But I don't think I'm going to get on it just yet. I think what we're going to do is we're going to make that our main priority again. Um, or, you know, we could... I mean, let's shoot for Alexander. Let's see if we can get an Alexander mission done. Uh, duty finder. There's so many of these. The problem is there's just a ton. So it's just a, it's just a grind. All right, let us, that was the wrong button. Let's TP over to the goblet. See if I can say hi to anybody. So, uh, what are you working on there, Teddo? Hey, it's Emmis. Nice. Nice. Good to hear you're still working on it, man. I'm excited to. I'm excited to see it. What is this? And be redeemed for a superior weapon of your choice. I don't know what that means, really. Boop. Alrighty. Things are happening. actually um hey ted uh do you want to see a uh, main story or do you want to see more manderville manderville's the weird quests i've been doing um i'm really kind of like stuck between which one so i'll let you choose because i'm like excited to do both but i also don't care Manderville is fun. All right. Let's do it, bro. Let's see. Okay, so Evie is on in central Thanalan, and Imis is on. Bunch of my friends are offline, so I guess I'm just going to do the thing. All right, so we are gonna wait around. Okay, those two are just having a walk, I guess. <laughs> um, all right, I will. I will do the next Mandeville quest then. Um, I will continue to work the Mandeville way, but first I want to see if I can do. Uh, 
another Alexander quest. Um, if it takes too long, I'm probably going to call it, and I'm just going to go do more Manorville, because I don't like waiting. So I'm in Central Thanalan. Friend company, friend list. Central Thanalan. Yeah, I'm in Central Thanalan. I wonder where I wonder where Evie is. Be neat if I could run into Evie. Evie's like our resident like glamour pro man. Evie's like next level when it comes to glamours. Evie? Are you around? I mean, if you're not, that's fine too, but I'm just curious. Actually, you know what? Something I should fix really quick. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Display names. Um, I have a lot of these turned off because it can be kind of annoying. Um, but let's turn friends on. That way I can always see where a friend is. And then I can go say hello. Am I just trying to run into Evie right now? A little bit. <laughs> Evie's cool, yo. There's Evie. And another, uh, we got another person. Noom. Neat. I like running into my friends, just kind of roaming around in the wild. It's fun. All right. So we're going to give we're going to give Alexander like another minute and if nothing happens, uh I may try and do Alexander with uh the FC maybe tomorrow. Cuz I do want to run through it. Um I don't need to like blitz through it. I still need to do uh Champions Ballad. Uh, the one with Bahamut. I still need to do that one, too. Um, but again, I'm not in, like, a crazy, stupid hurry to do all of them. Um, I may see if I can get a, a member of the FC to, like... Or, heck, if I could get eight members of the FC to just run those with me, I would. that would be great. Um, I just hate asking. You know what I mean? Like, I've, I feel... I feel like such a like such a baby for being like, hey, do you mind helping me with this thing? Like even though they'll be like, yeah, sure, let's do it. We can run through it really fast if all of us do it. But like, um, I don't know, for some reason I always feel like I'm asking too much. I think that's just my anxiety. My anxiety is like, you're being a pain in the ass. And I'm like, I mean, I don't wanna be. I just wanna be a friend. All right, we are not even seeing any progress on the Alexander bar. Da, da, da. So I, what I think that means is we're not gonna keep doing it. Astrum Sentry. Uh, is this Mordona? Yeah, this is Mordona. been a while since I came through from that direction, so I completely forgot. Um, I know that feeling. Oh, yeah. You and me both, Ted. We have that problem real bad. We're both big uh, anxiety boys. All right. Where is my Mandeville quest? Where is it? 
Let's turn that off. Go to journal. Eight armed and dangerous. To Thanalan. <sighs> okay. I need to buy new studio headphones. Mine are starting to die. Like, they still work well, but uh, it's definitely getting close. Like, I'm going to definitely need to get some soon. What is that? Stop! Golly. Silly peeps in the FC chat today. Oh, wait, I gotta go this way. Yes, I'm a busy man. If you're looking for small talk, I suggest you look elsewhere. No need to be rude, Canlan. She's a friend of mine. Now, what say you share your latest findings with us? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Early. If it isn't Mithril's eyes, star reporter. And have a laugh at Canlan's expense before returning your pen to the latest front page feature, eh? I need a drink. Oh, very well. Just promise you'll put in a good word for me with the higher-ups, okay? Now, let me tell you this. There's strange things afoot at the Colosseum. Bugger all. It's a travesty, I tell ya. Oh. Uh... Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> Hotch, Hugh, Hemo. Whatever is the matter, and wait, where, pray tell, is your is Hutchin? The four of you compete in the cup together, yes? I fear that an uh, unfortunate mishap has left Hutchin in no condition to fight. We were just on our way to convey the dire news to Dower Meadow. Mayhap my ass. This was sabotage. Some bloody coward out there will stop at nothing to eliminate his competition. I swear it on Sablaga. Lower your voice, Hotch. My head stings enough without your bloody shouting. H Hutchin, shouldn't shouldn't you not be resting your wounds? Oh, but forgive your incompetent, unworthy comrade. If I had been quicker with my mantra, we would still be four men strong. What are they wearing? Do not ber berate yourself so, Amo. In victory and in defeat, the Mantravilles fight as one. You bear no more responsibility for my wounds than I. Any road, I dare say I'll not be getting back into fighting Fettel by arsing around in bed. Ready to chant some mantras. How about the lot of you? H Hutchin, for you I am always ready. Now that's what I like to hear. A thousand mantras, and I want each one to ring out over Sangoli. Yeah! What are they wearing? Good God. The Montrevilles? Aye, as Hutchin tells it, they took their name from a training uh, from a training partner they messed at the Fist of Ralgar. Uh oh, a man they most admired for his devotion and chiseled physique. Consider me not the least bit interested. This talk of attacks on competitors, however, of this I would hear more. Ah yes, I mentioned that strange things were afoot. Yes. With mere days left before the Mithril Cup, a staggering number of would-be combatants have withdrawn, citing a host of curious ailments and injuries. With the list of entrants shrinking by the day, the organizers have been forced to abandon the elimination format in favor of a mass melee between what few battlers remain. <clears throat> One bottle down. The Phantom Thief's Challenge. Gladiators dropping like flies. 
Nah, this is no mere coincidence. I would speak to the individual in charge of the event. Where might I find him? Though the concern sponsors the tourney, the day-to-day -day organizational duties are being handled by a fellow by the name of Dow Meadow. He should be in his office with the Colise within the Colosseum halls. I'll send word to the gateman, Yuyubaya. He owes the Mithrali a favor or two. Splendid. Come, Umbra, we've got a case to crack. Alright, eh? I hear you, Baya. From the Mithril Eye, you say? Then by all means, you're free to enter. I am Ellie, reporter of the, for the Mithril Eye. Never blinking, all seeing, you know the deal, yes? And you must be Dower Meadow. I was hoping I could ask you a few questions about the upcoming tourney. Ah, ah. Who am I to argue with free publicity? From a charming little thing like yourself. Ask away, my girl. His tie's like a little undone. I said between the challenge from that so-called phantom thief and now these bizarre attacks targeting the fighters, our attorney's already the talk of the town. Not that you'll see me complaining, provided somebody's still left that fight, that is. You're free to investigate as you wish, but you'd be smart to exercise some caution. Needless to say, recent events have ha have everyone here a bit on edge. Why, just moments ago, one fighter almost took off another's head for insulting the color of his slip- Looks like we've got ourselves another, huh? These two aren't in the entry books. There they are. And our challenger unleashes a vicious right hook as the gentleman inspector was channeling his strength for his next attack. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. I I inspector Brudian, as efficient as ever, I see. A, a true gentleman <coughs> is serious violence, <coughs> inspector. You were thinking. It annoyed me. Dar Meadow, I presume. Tell me everything you can about the prizes for this tourney and try to be brief. Was wondering when you might ask. Master Fergus has spared no expense in making the Mithril Cup the most lucrative tourney in his Coliseum ever. The victor will receive a true treasure from his collection, the Warden's Grace, a ring fitted with the largest sun sphere you'll find outside a Khan. The second and third police prizes are nothing to sneeze at, neither. But I don't care how many faces he's got. We've got nothing to fear from this thief. The Concern has hired an elite regiment of Stone's Torches to watch over the vault day and night. Yes, just as the Brass Blades were so successful in stopping the thief last time. If you want your treasure safe, go fetch them and bring them to me. Be quick about it, I haven't all day. Fear I can't do that, Inspector. After all, what proof do I have that you ain't Mr. Many Faces in another of his elaborate get-ups? No, if you want to get your hands on the spoils, you'll have to claim them as any other would in battle. As a matter of fact, with the ranks thinned as they are, we've actively recruiting new competitors. The more the merrier, and the more lucrative that that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making him say it. Uh, Papyrus from Undertale. Now, where did our receptionist get off to? Over here, you slimy bugger! We've got some fresh blood for the melee. Give me a moment, will you? I've only got eight arms. Oh, were they legs? Final Fantasy VI, boy! Yeah! You called? I was just about to give the lovely Miss Avila the Grand Tour. I Inspector Little Hildebrand, look! He, he's purple. Astute, astute as ever, Nashu. This color, this overabundance of appendages. 
I smell a case. I love him. Uh, that's just my receptionist, Ultros. Wouldn't be startled now. He's an ugly blue bugger, but he's friendly enough. What has it? He was one of the many bizarre creatures born from a recent experiment with the ancient incantations at the Thaumaturge Guild. They were going to seal him away in a hole in the desert with the others when he opened his slobbering mouth and started pleading for his life. I just want to live in peace. I'll do anything, anything. So the management hired him to perform odd jobs around the Coliseum. And I'm ever glad they did, I tell you. This job ain't glamorous, but it sure has its perks. What a delicious morsel. I want to get my tentacles around her. <laughs> I don't know who you are, or where you hail from, and I do not care. You dare challenge me, my tempest blade will show no mercy. You can't forget about your case, Inspector. There's only one who will claim the victor's spoils, and that's me. Oh, I just love it when she talks stuff. Now, who's the chump who wanted to get a pummelin from my lovely little Avi? They all look at me! Though a gentleman takes far more pride in rescuing fair damsels than fighting them, I fear we have little recourse. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall do what must be done to... Umbra Vieris will be entering the tournament on my behalf. <laughs> Umbra Vieris? You do look like a Vieris. Well, bugger me with a spear to think I'd see the day when a warrior light stood in my coliseum. Hear that clink, clink, clanking? That's the sound of old Gil pouring into our coffers when the public finds out there's a true Aeorzean hero will be stepping into the ring to fight for the Mithril Cup. Oh, and I reckon your friend can tag along too. Show him where to sign, Ulti. God, the amount of the amount of like cameos in the Manderville quests are fucking amazing. I love them so much. With Umbra, I suppose we have a good as chance as if any. Now we just need to make sure she doesn't come down with any serious injury. That Gladiatrix, Avila, was it? Seemed quite certain of her chances of victory. Suspiciously certain, I would say. Ha <laughs> ha! I am already ten steps ahead of you, Inspector. That Ultros fellow seemed most knowledgeable about Miss Avila. Come, Nashu! The investigation is afoot. As much as that sounds like an amazingly productive line of investigation, might I suggest that our first priority is to keep Umbra here safe. Let us return to Gan... Ganelon and see what else he can tell us of these mysterious attacks on the combatants. Very well. I shall leave that task to you. I have a lead of my own to investigate. Should you uncover any new information, I trust you will share it with me at first opportunity. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now I got to go back this way. <sighs> Some of the starting towns are a little needlessly complicated when it comes to like where shit is. That might just be in my opinion though. Hey Ganelon. You again. I've already told you that. What? You entered the tournament, you say? Are you out of your bleeding mind? Look, I've got a suspicion or two, which I'm happy to share with you, but in the end, you have to protect yourself, you hear? So I've been asking around, and it seems that more than a few of the fighters who pulled out of the tourney were scheduled to fight a warrioress by the name of Avila. Now, I can't make any promises, but my instinct tell me this girl is bad news. But don't take it from me when you can hear it from someone who crossed blades with her just days ago. Fellow by the name of the Raging Rat, had the misfortune of being matched up with Avila in the preliminary round, and earned himself a right bruising from it at all. Last I heard, he was resting up back at the Pugilist Guild. Why don't you pay him a visit? 
I have to do a quick welcome in the FC chat. We got a new boy. Welcome, Sana. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Beautiful. Out of curiosity, I want to learn a little bit more about... Like, I, I have to imagine. Oh, it's only got 10 members. <laughs> oh, it's an 18 plus NSFW uh, one. There's Mr. Rage and the Rat. 